け、はい、何その薬もおどけんだろうねわー What it is, guys? It's Boy Blasphemous HD, and today we're here to check out yet another scary video. Let's do this. I'm scared of the dark. Two ghosts caught on camera. Ghost and the machine. These next two creepy videos appeared on YouTube over eight years ago and were uploaded by YouTube user Marvin Kagawas. Marvin explains that after his grandmother passed away, strange, unexplained events began to occur in his family home. One night, he captures the terrifying activity on camera. It's too dark. It's too dark. Turn on the lights. Alvin. Alvin. It ain't funny, man. What the fuck? What's going on, man? Ho! Ho! What are we doing? What are we doing? Better not be no shit! Alvin. What's going on? Ho! Better not be no shit! Hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on now. Hell! Oh, what the f? What's going on? <laughs> what just happened? A toy that belongs to Marvin's niece activates and plays songs by itself. What happened? Marvin is suspicious that his brother Alvin might be playing a prank on him. And takes a look around the house. When he gets back to the living room, a lamp hanging from the ceiling is swaying back and forth. Marvin is just done, and he runs back upstairs to his bedroom. In another video, Marvin is playing around with the settings on his Xbox One Connect. He discovers the night vision feature and tries it out. What he captures is downright chilling. Hey you guys,、uh, I just wanted to show you guys a pretty quick feature of the Xbox One and its Kinect. It actually has a pretty cool night vision that I just、uh, found today.、And、if you guys already know it has night vision, then I'm gonna show the people who don't know. So, right now it's completely dark in this house right now. All you can basically see is my Xbox One controller. Now I'm gonna switch on the night vision for you guys. As you can see, it's just It lights up the whole room. It's actually a pretty cool feature. What?、Um, I, they, what? I don't know if they have an app for this or whatnot. But、uh, they also have this、uh, version of the camera.、I've, I don't know what it is. I think it's either infrared or something like that. What? And then、uh, back to the dark. As you can see, all you can see is my Xbox controller. And then back to night vision. It's actually, you know, a pretty cool feature for the Xbox Connect that I haven't really heard of、what? until now. Maybe they have an app for it or. No!、Like、but yeah, thanks for watching. Someone or something can be seen standing in the back room, but Marvin doesn't notice. He turns off the night vision, and when he turns it back on, the figure is gone. Marvin says he has no idea who or what this could be, but interestingly, before Marvin's grandmother passed away, this room in the back was her sewing room. Marvin says his family moved shortly after this incident. So is it a ghost? I leave it up to you to decide. Man, it's something. Hands off. This next video shows a family spending a fun day at the park somewhere in Japan. A young boy dips his feet in the water of the wading pool and trudges along the edge. But there's something else in the water.
you see it? A tiny little pale hand can be seen reaching out of the water, startling the little boy as he quickly gets out of the wading pool. Yep, yeah, fuck that. Now, some superstitious viewers of the video believe that the hand belongs to a Japanese amphibious water sprite known in folklore to be a kappa. Though often depicted as friendly, throughout history, the little water monsters have been said to lure and drown victims in ponds and rivers. So could this little hand belong to a kappa? Or could this be something else entirely? I leave it up to you to decide. Screams from the Woods Twitch streamer Young is a South Korean college student living in Vancouver, Canada, where he streams his daily life and frequently broadcasts his walks throughout the city. Late one night, Young is live on Twitch when he encounters something that sends chills down his spine. The fuck? Go back. Go back. Go back. Guys, what are you doing? This is actually scary. I'm actually scary. What if what if the hell comes out? Why is it that anybody's following me? Walk faster. What the f Strange loud screams and wails can be heard coming from the woods all around him. Young and his live audience are undecided on who or what this could be. Some think it might just be animals. Some believe it's drunks whooping it up in the forest and some even think it could be a cult or witches. Hmm. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. The light in the mirror. Reddit user Danat Shepard related a very strange story. He said that he woke up one night to a strange light shining somewhere in his bedroom. When he scanned the room for the light source, he got quite a fright. You see, the light was coming from his desk lamp but not the one on his desk. It was the one in the reflection in his bedroom mirror. He grabbed his iPhone and caught the strange event on camera. Yo! Yo! Now skeptical viewers claim that it was simply an identical desk in a connecting room, separated by a doorway. But Danat proved them wrong by posting two wide-angle pictures of his bedroom, showing that the lighted desk lamp was actually appearing in a large wardrobe mirror. There is no connecting room. Reddit users went to work examining the video, and they found what looks like a bizarre face in the reflection of the desk when the video is enhanced. Yo! Yo! But Danat says that he saw nothing else out of the ordinary that night. Danat rechecked the mysterious mirror for several nights afterward, but the strange light never reappeared. Now, it bears noting that Danat Shepard is in no way a typical hoaxer or even a believer in the paranormal. In over five years and hundreds of Reddit posts, this is Danat Shepard's only post about anything remotely supernatural or paranormal. So, what do you think? Did Danat experience an unexplained event? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Hoax my you decide. Head. Doppelganger. Now, this next video was originally uploaded to TikTok, but the account That's had given up to a nightmare. That's a demon. Now, this next video was sent in by a viewer who found it online. The clip is chilling, but unfortunately, the source is unknown. It shows a man sleeping in bed, and then things get weird. Oh, he getting... Oh, yeah, they're taking his cheeks. 
Yeah, run that booty meat, bitch! Yeah, get a cornbread, ho! Yeah! Run that booty meat, bitch! The ghost of unconsensual prison sex. Had his legs up and folded. Put him in a scorpion position. The man is lifted off the bed and awakes in a terrified panic. Then something invisible seems to violently grab his legs, lifting him right up into the air as he desperately tries to get away. I done done that to like three of my girlfriends, man. They wanted it, so. Whatever is holding on to him then just lets go. The man crawls to the edge of the bed and appears to be in shock. Now, I don't know who this guy is or whether the footage is real or fake, but it has terrified hundreds of viewers who found it online. So, what do you think? Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You done got up in that nigga's tasty cakes. <laughs> Hospital of Horrors. Booty butt Paranormal cheeks. investigators Kevin, Fabio, and cameraman Alexis from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto head out to explore an abandoned maternity hospital in Mexico. The sprawling property is said to be the home to many powerful supernatural entities. Locals say that the hospital is haunted by the spirits of mothers and children who lost their lives in childbirth. It is also said that a dark demonic presence stalks the building. Some even claim to have seen the gloomy apparition of an old nurse roaming the hospital halls. The Archivo Extinto team splits up to explore different paranormal hotspots throughout the maternity hospital. Kevin sets out to film inside the hospital's chapel. Meanwhile, uh. Fabio investigates the operating rooms on the other side of the building. As Kevin explores the hospital's chapel all alone, he experiences something downright chilling. Why are you in here alone? White people always want to split up. Oh shit. Run away! Run away! Run, my nigga, run! Run, babies! Did you see it? Was that something hiding from out behind the dam? I think I saw something move. Kevin hears knocking coming from somewhere in the hallway. He goes to check it out, but when he turns back toward the chapel, he realizes that the robe that was hanging from one of the chapel pews has now moved and is on the floor right behind him. Retreat! Almost as if something was following him. Meanwhile, back over in the operating ward, investigator Fabio is all alone. He begins to hear terrifying noises coming from the operating rooms. The sounds seem to be getting closer and close her. Hey, Michael Maldonado! Hey, thanks for the donation, yo! Where the gun when you need it, eh? That's real! I need a pistol to deal with this shit. What the fuck? Run, bitch! Every man for himself, my nigga! Run, ho! AK-47, got it right. Nah, get the 12 gauge. <laughs> got that? Shit! Come on! Damn it! Fabio is horrified as the loud, angry bang scares the living shit out of him. 
Now we go back to the chapel again. Shit, he wasn't the only one that scared the living shit out of. Shit, I had to check my drawers after that shit. And where investigator Kevin decides it might be a good idea to say a prayer in the hopes that nothing evil will follow the team home from the hospital. No. Nope. He angles his camera towards himself and begins to pray. No. Nope. His camera Neil captures Cole. something truly terrifying. You about to get ass gappled, bro. Me in this moment. Female leader right now. I'm going to sit down and pray because a lot has happened. I don't want anything that might be here. Stay with me or leave with me. Or with anyone from the Archivo Extincto team. I will leave the radio on. Walkie talkie begins to freak out, emitting random static and sound. Then, as Kevin prays, something or shape can be yeah. seen forming right next to him. Nigga. The creepy apparition appears to be leaning over Kevin, but then it moves away and seems to slowly disappear right into the floor. Soon after this, Fabio radios in and says that he's had enough of the creepy noises over in the operating rooms. He says that he has a bad feeling that something might be coming to harm him. The team decides to end their investigation right there and head home. So did the investigators capture proof of ghosts in the old hospital? Could it be something even worse? As always, I leave it all up to you to decide. Oh, hell no! You can watch this full two-part investigation of the abandoned maternity hospital with even more paranormal encounters that I didn't show here over on the YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. Exploration gone wrong. TikTok and YouTube user Eon Jen from Colorado sets out to explore an abandoned nursing home, completely alone. Yeah, that goes wild, bro. Fuck that. As you might have mad, did not go well. I'm not seeing anything. I swear I saw something down there. Zoom in a little bit more. I'm trying to. Right there, right there, right there. You see it? Rover? What the? Oh, what the? I saw, I saw that. That was actually a person. Bro, I'm not joking. Let's get out of here. Come on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you mind? No, dude, that's actually Oh, yeah, now, now you're scared that there's... That's actually a person. Not joking. <laughs> it's actually a person, bro. You sure? Yes. No! I no! I can him down there. Right. I can't hear anything, dude. <laughs> you're an idiot. You're no! Crazy. No, I'm not! Yeah, it's you 100%, but walks past again, it's a real person. <laughs> I don't trust this place, man. This place is creepy at night. Sure it is. Tell you what. Alright, well then let's get out of here. Yeah, come on. No, we're just gonna keep recording back that way. <laughs> See if, like, they start running or something. Well, if he does, I have this. This, I'll throw it at him. Whatever it is, I can tell. 
No, there's nothing there. Hey, let's go. Alright. I know I saw something, and I know I'm not fucking crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was the most blood curdling thing I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Oh my god. Alright. I know I saw something, and I know I'm not fucking crazy. Just like last time, a dark figure comes out of the shadows and then disappears back into the darkness. Yan Jin's friend does not seem to take him seriously at all, until whoever or whatever it is comes running towards them, screaming like a maniac. The two friends make a run for it and manage to escape the abandoned nursing home unharmed. Now, even if this is not a ghost or anything paranormal, if this is just some creep hiding out in an abandoned building, well, to me, that seems pretty scary too. But what do you think about these videos? Man or ghost? Real or fake? I That's leave real. it up to you to decide. Ghosts are real, bro. <laughs> Little Nico claims he sees a, quote, scary friend, and soon after the hallway light turns on by itself. Joe goes to check it out but finds nothing and no one that could explain what just happened. Meanwhile, back in the bedroom, the closet door slams shut on its own. Could it be that Joe's son saw a paranormal entity? A, quote, scary friend? I leave it up to you to decide. The Suspicious Screamer I don't, I don't trust a seemingly that normal night in Phoenix, Arizona turns into a horror show for TikTok user Oscar who is outside hanging out with his cousin when he hears something truly bizarre. Good, buddy. <laughs> Close that right on up. Nope. Nope. No. A woman screams out for help as she seemingly walks calmly down the street in front of Oscar's home. Oscar and his cousin think the situation is a bit sketchy and quickly go inside. Oscar says that he had only moved into the neighborhood four months earlier and ran inside to keep his 14-year-old cousin safe. A bit later, in a strange SUV drives slowly down the road in front of Oscar's house. Oscar believes the woman might have been a decoy to lure someone out onto the street to get robbed, or maybe even worse. He called the police, but he never heard back. But what do you think was happening here? Why would someone be walking so calmly, yet seemingly screaming in abject terror for help? Maybe drugs. I'm doing best in the gun. That's for real, Punchinello. Another bonus scary video this week, and again, it's another Japanese video of unknown origin. Now, this didn't make the top 10 because, again, it's just a little too perfect. So, it could be a short film or maybe an ARG. Either way, I thought it was extremely creepy. So the story goes that two guys are visiting a Japanese shrine in a neighboring town. And then this happens. <laughs>
。あ、あそこだ。あ、そっか。え。来てるよ。この人、ここの人なんていいの。すごい多かったね。ね暗っ。うわ、超怖い、うん。あの人いなくない。ね。どこだ、あの吉野の人。なんかねちょっとしょぼいねえー、人いないねそういうこいない中か中こん中ってこといやそれはないでしょ<笑>試しに入ってみるどうしたのえ大丈夫あなたは何大丈夫気持ち悪いのえよ、ジョアナ・ヤンキー、Thank you for the two dollar donation, yo! What the fuck? Hey! Hold on now! Hey! Who the fuck? Who is that? What the fuck is that? Who coughing? It's too close to COVID to do that. Kanzai, you said, Saki, Koko. ずっといたここにずっといたえブラ、ワンドラーズギルバーディー大丈夫靴ひもほどけたうんでマジもうちょっとだからさごめんちょっと待って大丈夫気持ち悪い大丈夫I don't like this shit. Hanzaki? Are you okay? そんな薬もおどけんだろうねうわーあれええカンザキ
Thanks so much for watching. Now my posting schedule has been a bit weird lately, so please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a post. Bro, damn that. Damn all of that. Scared the shit out of you? What about me? Scared the shit out of me even worse. This next chilling CCTV video was allegedly shared to the public by an anonymous taxi driver in Japan. He says that a little after 1 a.m. he saw a woman on the street raise her hand to hell his taxi. He pulls over and stops. But what happens next is truly bizarre. The driver remotely opens the door in the back with a switch, expecting the woman to step inside the vehicle. But when he looks again, there's no one there. So the confused driver simply closes the door and drives away. But just a few minutes later, he drives through a tunnel on the road. Without him knowing, his drive recorder captures something absolutely terrifying. Oh! 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 Nigga! What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. You're just gonna disappear? Huh? Just like my father. Oh, she's back. I'm, I'm so sorry. Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Hell to the no. The extremely disturbing figure of a woman can be seen appearing in the back seat of his car, not once, but twice. She appears distorted with a swollen face, one creepy eye open and one closed. The taxi driver claims that he had no idea what was happening so close behind him. He says that he felt a disturbing chill at the time but he didn't see or hear anything unusual. The driver believes this to be the manifestation of a spirit of the victim of a traffic accident on this road, forever lost on the streets of Japan, trying to get a ride back home. Damn! Something under the bed. Somebody just asked me, was this a nutrition bar? I wish I was smart enough to lie to y'all and say it is, but it is not. This is a chocolate and caramel bar. It's a Heath bar. I prefer Scores bars, but I'm all out of Scores. Parents Josh and Sarah from Nashville, Tennessee had never posted. What the fuck? Oh, oh. Little Emma is sleeping peacefully with her doll when it inexplicably moves on its own. But creepiest of all, the child's shirt appears to be getting tugged by something that's just not there. Dad Josh believes the strange event to be something paranormal, but his wife Sarah is still skeptical. But it gets even creepier. Because late one night, Josh is at work and Sarah is fast asleep. Just around midnight, the baby monitor in Emma's bedroom record something terrifying. The TV in the room is on and little Emma is awake and seems to be curious about something underneath her bed. When she goes to investigate, the little girl appears to be getting pulled underneath the bed. Emma starts to cry and yells out for her mother who soon wakes up and comes to her rescue. But just what happened to little Emma is unclear. 
Josh explains that he has no idea what happened to his daughter. He shows in a video that the space under Emma's bed is too small for anyone to have been hiding under there. So what do you think happened to little Emma? Could it be that some dark presence has attached itself to the toddler? Or just what is going on here? Let me know what you think. The Haunting in Holland, Part 2. So a month ago I featured a spooky video from an anonymous Dutch YouTuber named Sabia L. Run, bitch! Bitch, run! <laughs> At the time, the video was a bit of a mystery, as all the information I had was her YouTube username, Sabia L, and that she was living in Holland. But since then, I've actually been able to contact Sabia and ask her about her videos. Sabia shared with me that she lives in a small apartment in Holland in a house that was built in 1923. She says she doesn't really know the history of the house, but that ever since she moved in last year, she noticed a presence in the home. Cabinet doors open and close on their own, things move, and on multiple occasions she has seen a dark shadow out of the corner of her eye. Sabia says that she was a skeptic before she moved in, but after experiencing the repeated paranormal activity, she became a believer. Now, after I featured Sabia L's video last time, she received many encouragements. Once I saw its face, now I'm a believer. I don't know none of the words to the rest of this song. Encouraging comments from Nuke's top five viewers. And so she decided to start filming more of the strange activity in her home. One night, she captures something downright creepy. No, 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 no. No! Hey! You don't pay no rent in this bitch! Alright? I don't do this. Hey, look, look, ladies out there, if your house is haunted, all you got to do is just find you some rich nigga dick to suck. We will either move you into a different place for you to suck our dicks at, or we will let you come over to our house and suck a dick there. But only if the dick sucking is crisp. If the blowjobs are shit, then you are on your own, bitch. Oh my god. What's going on? Kijk, dat bedoel ik dus. Dat is dat licht. No! Can we not? Can we not? Can we not? Can we not? No! 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 Zie? Kom voor je, bitch! Dit is dus het lichtknopje. Bitch, don't! Deze deur. Is gewoon dicht. Why are you still inside of your house? 
You know what? I bet you five bucks this chick is one of them feminism type of chicks. When strong, independent women, yeah, y'all gonna be strong, independent, and homeless as shit. There is here gewoon echt helemaal niemand. No, 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 I don't like this. A heavy sliding door that's fairly difficult to move actually slides sideways completely on its own. Sabia is freaked out but tries to stay calm. The light in the kitchen then shuts on and off and a cabinet door opens and closes. Sabia can't find any explanation for the strange activity. Another night and she records again as the presence seems to be getting more and more aggressive. Why are you still there? Stop being brave, bitch! Who's got to go Is this all I'm wrong? I don't really look. What the fuck? I'm going to be alone. Oh, that thing. Why are you still in this house? Okay, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to And then, only two days later, Sabia captures something else. Something absolutely horrifying. Oh, nigga, don't show us! Nigga! No! No! Hey! No! 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 Stop! Ho! 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 Bitch said leave! You ain't gotta tell me twice, bitch! Hey! You ain't gotta tell me again! You got it! You got it! No! No! Sabia watches from her bedroom as all of her lights flicker on and off. She suddenly hears the voice of what sounds like a young girl, but the voice is so low and muffled that it's barely comprehensible in Dutch. But that's not even the creepiest part of the video. Because, did you see it? Watch one more time. A horrifying dark figure can be seen standing in Sabia's living room. What do you mean dark? Damn it, nukes. Don't be sexist. Never that. Never sexist. Seemingly watching her from behind the sliding door before it disappears into thin air. So is Sabia's home haunted by a dark presence? Let Ghost me know what roommate. you think. Yeah, I don't do this. You can watch all of Sabia L's yep, paranormal encounters over on her YouTube channel, Sabia L. Y'all can have the house, you see bro. Y'all can have this bitch, nigga. Ain't even that serious, bro. Ain't the that Highway serious. Five Ghost Girl. No. This next video, posted to Reddit no. by user Little Goth Doll, was recorded no. from a monitor, then screen capped on a phone before it no. finally made its way to the internet. So it's a bit potato quality. Nevertheless, the video is chilling. It was pulled from the dash cam feed of two truck drivers after a very frightening incident. So. One night, two truckers are driving on Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama, when they get the scare of a lifetime. The panic-stricken truck drivers pull over and call 911. But when they check the highway and the surrounding area, along with arriving police, 
they don't find anything. There's just no one there. After the truck drivers request the viewing of the footage recorded that night on Highway 5, they are shocked. Just like they thought, there is in fact a girl in a long dress walking across the road, seemingly getting hit by their truck. They later find out that there's a well-known ghost story associated with this road, Highway 5 in Lynn, Alabama. Apologies the story accepted, goes man. that 10 years ago care. on a rainy night, a teenage girl on her way home from her high school prom lost her life on the road after being hit by an 18-wheeler truck. Damn. Over the years, many truck drivers claim that they have witnessed the girl wearing a prom dress on Highway 5. So could it be that these truck drivers captured the prom dress ghost of That's Highway the prom 5? Dress ghost. Their reactions certainly look convincing. But as always, you decide. Damn! The Ghost Files Popular German paranormal investigators Die Geisterachten, which translates to The Ghost Files, travel to an allegedly haunted estate in Bad Ems, Germany. The sprawling structure was constructed in the 1920s and served as a critical care center run by the Protestant Church. The makeshift medical center was staffed by nuns and female church officials who devoted their lives to caring for the sick and the elderly. Many of the patients at the care center suffered from devastating and highly contagious diseases. So it's not surprising that over its 70 year history, many people lost their lives inside these walls including men, women, children, and even the devoted nuns who often caught infectious diseases from the very patients that they were treating. No. The staff of the care center slowly dwindled until there was just no one left to care for patients. The care center was eventually left abandoned in 1993. Cut to current day. The abandoned historic building is said to be haunted by the spirits of its deceased patients. There are countless reports from visitors who claim to have seen dark apparitions and witnessed unexplained supernatural activity inside the old abandoned care home. The De Geisterachten investigators split up into three teams to explore different sections of the, Ain't none of the females attractive. massive building. When team members Daniel and Biola explore the basement, they begin to experience wow. something truly bizarre. We have a haunted mental institution here in Madison, Wisconsin. You should come to the haunted hospital. Oh boy. I have to sleep with you again. What's up? Yeah, I, I might have to pass on that one, bro. I ain't going nowhere to. You know what I mean? I have to sleep with you again. What's up? Hello? Is someone by us? Um, we were just again in the Nah, I've never been on the Haunted Mansion ride, uh, Garrison. Hello? My, uh, he, my, uh, who? Oh my god. It's from here. What the fuck? Let's see. On the other side. Was war? Es hat ein bisschen knallt. Hallo? Daniel and Viola hear the unexplained voice of a child and soon after hear loud footsteps coming from all directions. The two investigators call out to whoever could be making the creepy sounds, but no answer. And Daniel and Viola aren't the only ones hearing strange things. Team members Julia and Katja are exploring another area of the building that used to be the children's ward. And they too start to hear something. Don't you fly open. Yeah, I've heard. Da wieder. Er war immer eine Baby, eine Kinderstation. Mhm. Mm 
Julia and Katja also hear the creepy voice of a child coming from somewhere inside the building. Nope! Later into the investigation, Daniel and Viola start hearing unexplained footsteps on a stairway and begin to feel like someone is watching them. They set up a thermal imaging camera and connect to a large screen so that they can watch in real time. They sit down on the stairs and start to ask questions directed to any spirits still lingering in the abandoned care home. The two witness and capture something absolutely chilling. Du bist noch auf der Treppe, ne? Magst du mal die Treppe runterkommen? Komm doch mal zu uns. Setz dich doch mal zwischen uns. Das wird aber auch gerade kälter werden. Boah, gerade wird's eiskalt. Und so länger wir miteinander reden, umso mehr werdet ihr, ne? Gibt's. Gibt's irgendeinen Kommunikationsmechanismus, in dem ihr euch, wenn ihr mit uns redet, wenn ihr mit Menschen allgemein redet, der dann ja, die anderen Energien anzieht. Oh. Hinter uns und an deiner rechten Schulter. Das ist rundrum gerade. Ja, aber das sieht gerade, also bei dir rechts ist definitiv, wie sieht das aus, als würde sich da irgendwas manifestieren. Also wir können dich, quasi wir können dich sehen über unsere Technik, können wir dich so ein bisschen sichtbar machen. Magst du mal meinen... Meine rechte Hand. Very bad idea, Sadie. The investigators watch as thermal shapes and distortions seem to appear all around them. One figure seems to rise up right between them, and another shape even seems to touch Daniel's hand. Meanwhile, Julie and Katja, who are exploring a different section of the large building, are also beginning to feel like they are not alone. Hello? Daniel? Who is there? Jemand da. Hallo? Wer ist da? Wir sind nicht mehr alleine. Hallo, wer ist da? Oh mein Gott, mein Herz rast. Hallo? Motherfucking sound effects. Damn it. Oh hell no. Oh mein Gott. Julie und Katja hear disturbing sounds and movement coming from somewhere near them. Because the sounds are so loud, they think there might actually be another person in there with them. They decide to just get out of there. Using their walkie-talkies, they call the rest of the team back to their meeting point. But whatever is in the building seems to follow them. What happens next shocks them all. Hier an der Treppe haben wir unten das Licht gesehen und die Stimme. Hallo? Stefan? Ja? Hinter uns. Das klang gerade wie 
die Stöckelschuhe, habt ihr ja. das gehört? Ja, wie, was, wie, wie vorhin auf der Treppe. Stöckelschuhe. Äh, Stöckelschuhe, ganz eindeutig. Hallo? Stefan is downstairs when the rest of the team hears the sound of high heels coming down a hallway. When they look down the hall, one of their cameras captures the dark silhouette of what seems to be a woman walking from right to left before suddenly vanishing into thin air. So did the Geister Acton capture the spirits of deceased patients that are said to haunt the abandoned building? And if not, Have a good night, just what gonna did crash they for capture? The Hope you can catch watch this full two-hour episode and That's many more creepy investigations over on the YouTube channel the Geister Octon. Thanks for watching. Nigga. Bro, that shit wow, yo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. I've got to go pray. Or pee. Do both at the same time. Multitasking. Twizzles.